Yasmin Khartoun Dewan has reported extensively from the CAR. She is currently in London. Uh, Yasmin, just briefly, if you don't mind, just give us the background to how the nation has come to this current state. Thanks, Adnan. Yes, well, this upsurge in violence followed the barring of former President Francois Bouazizi from running in the recent presidential elections in December. He then went on to ally with a coalition of rebel groups that have since sought to take control of territory through any means possible, uh, which has led to the mass displacement and violence that you've just mentioned. Uh, but all of these parties involved go back to the civil war that started in 2012 when Bouazizi was deposed himself in a coup. Um, and in some of the groups that he's now allied to were those um, deposing him at that time. Is it now a zero-sum game for the rebels? It's uh, either the president, Tuadera, or us. Are they going to try to complete the whole process that has led to this situation of the capital being pretty much encircled? That's what the president's saying. Um, he has accused the rebels and Bozizi of attempting a coup, and he said this um, even before the elections happened. But it may be that they'll settle for positions of influence with the current setup, and that's something we've seen before from Tudera and when this recent government came into power in the previous election. Um, <laughs> But the thing we've got to remember is this very violent uh, alliance of, of rebel forces already control large swathes of territory, including critical aid routes. Um, so aid can't come into the country. Aid agencies aren't able to operate um, and in a country where so many are dependent on that coming in. So they already have um, quite a big upper hand. Uh, would more troops to the country, there are already UN peacekeepers there, there are Russian troops there, and Rwandan troops, and effectively, from what I've been reading, it's those foreign troops that are stopping the capital from being completely overrun right now. Is the UN likely to send more peacekeepers? Indeed, uh, it is these foreign troops that are stopping the capital from being, being overrun. There are about 15,000 foreign troops in the country at this moment. The uh, national forces aren't very strong. They've been trained by Russian contractors in recent years, but they're, you know, many of them fled the field um, in just recent weeks. These are these forces. Are they likely to be reinforced? Possibly, but it's not looking that way right now. Russia decided to leave in troops that it was planning to take back. Rwanda as well. They've already got um, just under 2,000 troops. The Minuska division is 13,000 strong. Uh, but the current government, what they want actually is for a, a heavy weapons embargo to be lifted to help them in defeating uh, the, these groups. But in a country where um, you know people are left without food and aid, uh, and they're so vastly displaced, that just keeping the capital afloat and stopping from this, this group from taking over the Bongi isn't going to stop the conflict that's you know taking place throughout the nation. Is there a certain lack of credibility surrounding the president to Adera's election victory? It took quite a few weeks for him to be confirmed as having. Uh, one re-election. Uh, is there any way that possibly the rebels might actually be more popular than him? I don't think the rebels are more popular than him, but the election was marred with violence. Um, it's, it's difficult to say, you know, he actually won in any clear-cut fashion. He has been, you know, international um, various nations have supported the elections and the result, and that's because they want peace. They don't want to see violence go back to what we saw um, in, you know, in recent years. And he seems the only viable solution right now. These rebel forces are made up of groups like the anti-Balaka, who were responsible for the, um, the, the genocide of Muslims in the country, and the Seleka, who also also committed vast atrocities in the recent, you know, in, in the country. And they are allied to this previous president, Bouazizi, who is wanted by, um, by both in, uh, national and international courts. So he seems like the only solution for any semblance of peace right now, although he, he isn't necessarily a popular one himself. That is TRT World's Yasmin Khatun Dewan. Yasmin, thank you so much indeed.